To get a coding job faster than 99% of people, you have to act like the top 0.3%. There are hundreds of thousands of people just like you that every day are trying to learn coding to eventually get a remote six-figure job and relax their ass on a beach in Bali. But the harsh reality is that most of them are destined to fail. I know because I've talked to these people and I've talked to that 0.3% of people that somehow managed to succeed and get their dream job faster than anyone else. So in this video, I will share with you the three traits that I've seen over and over in my top students that set them apart from the 99.7% of aspiring developers and how you can actually be the same. So buckle up. First things first, the 0.3 percenters understand that there is no competition. I was scrolling through LinkedIn and I was reading soap stories from aspiring developers just like you. People who were applying for over three or four years. And this will shock you. They didn't code anything new in the past three years. Their projects were so simple. And the sad part is that nobody tells them the truth. Everyone is kind of sugarcoating everything. And people are grinding themselves to death, working on things that don't matter, expecting high salaries and the break from the stress of working two full-time jobs, their current job and the search for a new job. But there is a solution. I recently started reading a book called The Infinite Game by Simon Sinek. And he talks about the distinction between two types of games, finite and infinite. A football game, for example, is finite because the goal is to get to the end of the game and win. Programming career, on the other hand, is an infinite game because it has no time or skill limit. You can get as good as you want or as much effort you put into it. The time frame is irrelevant. The game doesn't end when you learn JavaScript or React, nor when you get that first job or the third. And 99.7% of aspiring developers fail becoming professionals because they reach a certain level in their career, they build some basic application in a few weeks, and then they plateau and then stop. They are playing the wrong game, a finite game. Imagine this, working every day two hours on one application. Imagine how much experience and how confident you would be compared with someone who settles for a portfolio copied from a tutorial or a bootcamp. Those guys literally stop developing themselves and will not get any results. If you apply this new mindset, you will understand you have zero competition because this is hard to do, okay, but it's effective. So if you want to be part of that at least 0.3% of successful aspiring developers, you need to think long term and have a growth oriented mindset. The next trait that the successful aspiring developers have is that they treat this like a full time part time job. I remember using every opportunity to learn code at my previous job in between customers, in my coffee breaks, in my lunch breaks. I was always reading a book or anything. MDN. I was listening to podcasts while riding the bus on my commute. I was arriving home and right away putting my ass on the chair and I was studying as soon as I entered the house. I knew it was my only escape from my current life. And it sounds intense, but I was treating learning to code like a full-time job. In fact, I was working harder on learning to code than in my full-time job. And this leads me to the next point, which is there is no trying, just doing. Imagine this, you go to your favorite restaurant, and you order your favorite meal, a triple decker burger with french fries and blue cheese sauce. But there's something different today. The meat is overcooked and dry and the fries are all soggy. So you ask the manager for an explanation. Turns out they hired a new chef because the previous one was deported to Panama and the new chef is destroying every dish even though he's trying his best. It's not your problem, you don't care, right? You want the food you got used to till now. You don't care about his best or that he's trying his best. So you ask for a refund, maybe leave a bad review, never to come back again. And majority of people will try their best to learn to code, but your best is irrelevant. You need to do what is required. You have to hit the standard and do what is expected. I'm a big fan of coaching and so I would recommend you to find a developer that can guide you and tell you if you are hitting the standard or not and is not gonna sugarcoat the truth for you. If the people around you are unemployed aspiring developers who are only hyping you up and telling you to keep going, you'll never hit your potential and stay in the same place you are right now forever. You must be very hard on yourself if you want to achieve your goals as fast as possible. But what if you lose motivation? You will lose motivation every day. In fact, you'll feel like quitting every time you will hit a low point. I thought about quitting learning to code every single day for nine months straight until I got my first job. But then I was thinking, what other alternatives do I have? 
okay you might have these big aspirations like traveling to south america or bali or working from home or making more money but these goals will actually keep you stuck i want to introduce you to a concept called loss aversion loss aversion is a cognitive bias that describes why for individuals the pain of losing is psychologically twice as powerful as the pleasure of gaining the loss felt from money or any other valuable object can feel worse than gaining the same thing. I want you to imagine the next five years, okay? So picture every single detail, same job, same clothes, your money loses value because of inflation, everything gets more expensive, your savings get drier and drier, you can't afford traveling anywhere outside a 10 mile radius of your home. This is the motivation that you actually need to tap into. I was ashamed of being a 30 year old barista. I was ashamed of telling my parents who put so much hope in me that I'm a barista who cleans toilets and mops the floor. Play that scenario in your head over and over. The top 0.3% of aspiring developers learn how to cope with the lack of motivation on a day-to-day -day basis. So here's a hack I used to keep myself motivated even though there were days and weeks where it seemed like there is no light at the end of the tunnel. You have to find joy in doing the action instead of feeling happy only when you get the result. Every goal can be broken down into daily action and measuring different things can help you win every day. Like for example, how much time you spend every day coding or how many applications have you built this week or this month and so on and so forth. You are measuring a bunch of things so then you can win every day. And knowing that you did the best work when your head hits the pillow at night, it's what will keep you motivated more than hitting the goal itself. When I received the news that I got my first job, I actually became a little bit depressed, right? It felt like I built all this momentum up and I was hoping to feel like a new person. It didn't happen. In fact, the recruiter sounded more excited than me. The biggest wins that you will get by learning code is the new person you will become. Now, I want you to imagine how your life would look like if you'd go beast mode 365 days, 24 seven, and you would never cheat on yourself. Imagine just for a moment Okay, how different your whole life would be because a lot of things can happen in one year. You might burn out while doing this, but if it happens, take a few days off. Don't be scared of being a savage, okay? This is another skill you will learn while on this journey. And I want to recommend you a book. It's called Shoe Dog by Phil Knight. He's the creator of Nike. That guy went through so much shit and went bankrupt twice. But that's what makes his story amazing. Now let's imagine your story, okay? You just coded 30 minutes a day using Mimo every now and then. And after three months, you got a job at Google that pays you 350K a year. There is no substance. There is nothing interesting. It's a boring story. Nobody wants to hear it. You sound lame. Instead, your story will be like this. You hustled every day. You had weeks where you thought nothing would work out. You got rejection after rejection, but you didn't care and you kept pushing. You got five interviews that seemed like they were the one, but then you were denied because they decided to go with someone else that had more experience. Thoughts of quitting came back stronger than ever, but you stuck with it regardless of how you were feeling. And then an email hits your inbox. A role that you actually applied for six months earlier is back on the market. You have two interviews, one with the recruiter and one with the engineers. 30 minutes later, you are offer the job. That is a fucking great story. The struggle you're going through is the price you have to pay for this new life that you are designing right now. 99.7% of people who started watching this video already clicked off and are scrolling TikToks. You watching this till now tells me you are on the right path of becoming that 0.3%. So let me know in the comments what resonated with you the most from this video. See you in the next one. Peace out.